So Makeup Revolution has another brand, another one. <sighs> oh my God, a five pound foundation. What the hell? Don't ask me why it's shaped like a bum. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today we're gonna try the new Relove by Revolution brand. They sent me some products to try out. When I first heard about the brand, I was like, another brand? But I guess that's their thing. Um, and you know, that's business at the end of the day. The idea is every single thing for everybody. It's affordable, accessible, relatable, and it's for everyone. And the prices are very, very, very affordable, guys. Today's post notification shout out is gonna go to Olivia. So thank you so much for your really sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Enough rambling, let's jump into the video. Um, I don't have a brow gel. I'm gonna be using my Refi Beauty Brow Sculpt uh, gel it has a comb on the tip which is so handy guys but this stuff is so good yeah honestly since i've gotten this i've just been so obsessed doing that brow lamination kit that i did in my previous video was so worth it i definitely recommend it the first thing that we're going to be trying is this blade brow in the shade dark brown this is literally two pound fifty two pound fifty how much did it cost to make like 20 pence anyways let's give it a go I mean, it does really, really thin strokes. Oh, it's doing a good job. It's giving me those like brow hair strokes and it's very subtle. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. And also given the fact that it's so affordable, I didn't get concealer. So I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape as my eye base. I got sent some eyeshadow palettes. I think I'm going to go for the pink one today. These are three pound each and the color combinations look really cool. But I'm really drawn to this one today. This is the Belief palette and that's what it looks like. Then I'm first going to take this shade right here. That is pigmented. What on earth are Revolution doing? How are they getting this pigmentation? I'm just taking a clean brush to blend out the edges. I'm now going to take this dark shade right here. I'm going to put that on the outer corner. Blending pretty easily as well. I'm then going to take this shimmery shade right here. It's like a metallic rose. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm just still trying to like understand how this is like three pounds no 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 okay i'm pretty happy with the palette so far they also came out with a slick flick eyeliner pen if you guys know me you know that i'm not the biggest fan of pen eyeliners i've had some good ones in the past but i just get so i don't know i'm just not the the greatest but this looks super black Let's see I mean, uh, that ain't bad. Okay, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of pen eyeliners, but this isn't too bad. I just prefer like liquid eyeliners with a really thin brush. They're just so much easier to use and like control, but I didn't do too bad. Okay, so they also came out with a Power Lash Volume Mascara, which looks like this. I'm not too sure about the brush, but we'll see. Hmm. it's actually not too bad how much is this mascara three pounds i mean considering the fact that it's three pounds it's not doing too bad like it's lifted it doesn't give too much volume i feel like it gives more a lengthening effect it's actually not too bad so i think i give this pass especially given the price i've really been into just sticking a pair of lashes in the outer corner i mean I don't know, it just gives this really cool effect. I don't know what it is, but I've really been liking it. I just cut a pair of lashes that I had in half. These are Classy Lashes UK in Party Gal. Okay, let me put some moisturizer. I've been really into the La Roche-Posay Hyalu B5 Aqua Gel SPF 30. It's really good. I wouldn't um, recommend this for someone with oily skin, but it's very moisturizing i literally wear this every day i also got this h2o hydrate primer this is four pounds it was like a thick gel oh my god this smells really strong <sighs> what the hell is that smell <sighs> oh my god <sighs> if you're mauritian this literally smells like 
esky almond esky oh my god are you sure smell that we have to like massage it in just like that oh my god it's like esky in a bottle in the in cream that smells so nice i've never smelled that in a product before but it feels really good on the skin and it's quite tacky too, which is what you want in a primer. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be trying is the Super Serum Hyaluronic Acid Foundation. I got the shade 11.2. This is the shade I use in all of their foundations. It's not really easy to take out, to be honest. Five pounds. Silk, silky breathable base 15 skin true shades or hyaluronic acid stretchable and blendable and it's only five pound people a five pound foundation what the hell I would say coverage is definitely medium to full like it's covered my scars here pretty well yeah it's definitely got really good coverage for five pound foundation and that blended like instantly it's sitting really nice on my skin very glowy right now i mean i did put the spf and the hydrate primer which were two very glowy products but we can set this with powder in a bit they don't have concealer so i'm just gonna go in with my tarte shape tape i'm gonna go wet their sponge i got this little spongy thing it's five pounds don't ask me why it's shaped like a bum let's go with it i mean you could say heart as well i don't know why i'm dirty minded like that that's an extra juicy bum now look at that it's huge i really don't know why it's shaped like that i guess it gets it's easier to get in the eye i don't know i'm just gonna blend my concealer just blend 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 it's blending pretty well this sponge definitely gets a pass i love this next up we have the hd super matte setting powder i guess this is just the translucent powder this is three pounds i get so skeptical when i try new powders i've had such bad experiences but this is looking pretty good guys okay the, the powder definitely gets a pass for now, I'm going to have to do a flash test for sure, which I'll do that towards the end of the video. Next, we have the Trio Contour Palette. I've got the shade Bronze Sugar. Three pounds, people. I'm going to first use this sh middle shade. I'm kind of mixing the two dark shades here. I don't have a blush, so I'm going to be using the Pixi On The Glow blush. Tinted moisture stick in the shit oh, in the shade juicy. But yeah, I I like to use a stippling brush. This is the wishful moisturizer brush, but I just need to find more stippling brushes like these because these are like the best kind of brush to apply cream products. I'm telling you, like it's so easy. Oh my god, I love this. This for summer. Okay, so I also got a super highlight in the shade bronze. Mm, it's a bit dark for me it's a little dark for me yeah i just don't see myself using that because it's like a bit on the darker side and it does feel a bit dry i'm just gonna put a bit of that bright pink shade on me i'm just gonna take this light shade from the palette give oh that's pretty i'm just gonna use some of my huda beauty warm brown lip contour Then I'm gonna go in with this baby gloss in the shade Glam. These are so tiny, they're so cute, but this is like a pinky nude. It's slightly sticky. I've tried more comfier glosses. Okay, so that's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this try on video. I've honestly had so much fun trying all of this. I'm actually quite surprised by the foundation, the eyeshadow palette. Those are like the two things that really stood out to me. Um, even the bronzer palette that really blended nicely. Let me go take a quick flash photo. Oh my God, guys, I'll put a photo here, but it photographed beautifully. No flashback whatsoever. I love this powder. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna be using this a lot. It set my under eyes so well as well without drying it out or anything like that. What else? I really like the gloss, you know. And yeah, the palette is so good. I need to get used to the mascara because I'm not used to this kind of brush, but it did a pretty good job. And then I'm not a fan of this highlight. If when even when you like put your brush in it, it feels really like dry. Like it feels like dry skin. It feels like the sun on my knees, basically. Yeah, definitely recommend the blade brow 
10 out of 10 because honestly it gave the kind of brow look that i like and it's only two pound 50. i think i would give the pen eyeliner a miss just because i'm not like a fan of it but it did pretty well and it's super black and obviously this little sponge i know it looks very weird but it did the job pretty well anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you can join the family let me know what else i should try in the comments below and i will see you in my next video